everyone welcome to another dog powered fun video today I'm going to show you how to install a toggle on your tug line I'm going to make a simple four foot tug line using a toggle some of the benefits of using a toggle is they're lightweight they won't freeze so they're a great alternative to uh, brass snaps so what you'll need is a toggle I've got six feet of poly line quarter inch you'll need a marker fit scissors so one of the tips and tricks of dealing with toggles is you want to make your loop end first and I always make my loops when I'm working with toggles a little bit smaller than my regular loops we want just enough that is easy to slip over but not too big that when the toggle goes through it can slip back through on its own. So usually I make a two inch loop and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to measure down one foot, so 12 inches. It's going to be the start of my loop. And if you're unfamiliar with loop knots, I did make a video on how to make them. You can go back and view those. So as before, that is a loop knot. This could be finished. We could easily just hide the tail and be done. But as you all know, I like to be fancier. So I'm going to do another set of loop knots. Gonna bring the main line back through the tail to complete my second loop knot. So that is our second set of loop knots. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to hide the tail and then pop back out and do one more set of loop knots because I have enough line here. This is just cosmetic. There's no added use to the function of the line by doing this. It just makes it look prettier. So I've done one length of the fit. I'm gonna pop out going to hide, put the line into the fit. It's going to pop out. Main line is going to go through the tail. And then I'm running short on tail. I'm just gonna hide it. I could have made this section shorter and then did an extra couple of loop knots. It ends up all being just what your preference is and how fancy you wanna get. So I'm just gonna hide this little bit of tail. So our loop end of our tug is done. I'm 
always like to check out the size of my loop. That should be just fine. So now I'm going to measure. Since I'm making a four foot tug, I'm going to measure four feet. And at the four foot mark, I could put a mark with a marker, and I will, because this is going to be the center on the toggle. So you can see I've made a mark. I'm going to take my toggle in one side, come around, come back through. So I'm looking for my mark. Okay, so my mark is in the middle of the two holes. Then I'm going to take my fit. I'm going to get as close as I can. Now I like to make it nice and snug. And we're just making loop knots. And this is why we did our tail end first. Pardon me. This is why we did our loop end first. It's because now we have to bring this end through our line and if we did it the other way around we'd have to try to get our toggle to the line and it won't work okay so we have our first loop knot made. I'm going to go ahead and do a second loop knot. Where I use my larger fid. So when I bring the loop and through the line, you want to make sure that line lies flat. Okay, so we have two sets. Of loop knots. I'm going to go ahead and do what I did on the other end. I'm going to take the tail. I'm going to feed it into the middle for about the length of the fit. And I'm going to pop out, bring the line in. Make sure your line is flat.
Now, if I want it to match, I would just hide the tail and I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I do have enough that I could probably do another loop knot, but it's nice when everything matches. Again, it doesn't affect its functionality. It just looks nicer. There we go. We have our toggle installed on our four foot tug line. So I'm just going to show you how to make a quick little uh, this is a six inch adapter, so this you can use if you're not quite ready to uh, commit to change or changing out all your brass snaps. So I'm going to take my toggle. I've already got a loop end done. And we're just going to do a loop knot. And because I'm dealing with the loop end, I'll need a larger fit. So now I'm just going to hide the tail and I have a little extra here so we'll have to cut some off. So I've bumped up against the other tail from the other side. So now I'm just going to cut off my excess tail. And now because I've cut my line, I need to use the lighter to melt the end so it does not fray. And I'm going to let it slide back inside the line. And if I measured right, it should fit. And there we go. So we've got a little six inch adapter. So for some of you who are thinking, you know, well, how would the toggle work? So here I've got my toggle. I've got the loop from another line. It's going to go over. And that's how the toggle works. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.